Welcome to Chemistry Revision by Making Solutions. My name is Matthew and today we're going to be looking at how to make copper sulphate. To make copper sulphate we are going to need some copper oxide. Copper oxide is a black powder and it does not dissolve in water which means that it is insoluble. We are going to react our copper oxide with some sulfuric acid. We need to be careful because sulfuric acid is corrosive. However, at the concentration we're going to be using at, it should be okay. We're going to do this reaction in a conical flask, but as you'll see in a second, this reaction will not happen by itself. We will need to heat it. All I'm going to do is take one spatula of the copper oxide and put it into the conical flask. I'm then going to add about 25 ml of acid and we're going to need to move over to where I have a Bunsen burner set up and we're going to heat the solution. This reaction should happen fairly quickly at this temperature and we should start to see a colour change. We can see that our reaction mixture has turned a lovely blue colour but there is still some of the black copper oxide left. The copper sulphate solution must now be filtered to remove the remaining copper oxide. To do that, we're going to need another conical flask, a funnel and some filter paper. All we're going to do is simply pour our copper sulphate solution through the funnel. This solution should now be copper sulphate dissolved in water. But we didn't want the water, we just wanted the copper sulphate. So we now need to remove the water. To remove the water from our copper sulphate solution, we are going to need to use what is called an evaporating basin. We're going to pour a small sample of our copper sulphate solution into our evaporating basin, and we're going to move back to our Bunsen burner. Okay, so the heat's been taken off and we can see that I've left some of the copper sulphate solution behind. This is so that overnight I will leave it to crystallize and we'll come back in the morning and we'll see whether we've got some nice big copper sulphate crystals. We can already see that there are some copper sulphate crystals around the edge of the evaporating dish. So it's morning time. I've just arrived and we can see that we have formed some lovely blue copper sulphate crystals. The next step for us would be to take these crystals and dry them because they are still slightly wet, but essentially we have now completed this practical. Music 